like this shit. I, kn- I knew you guys were gonna like this shit. What do you consider your best asset? It's a toss up between my Disney princess eyes and my uh, fat ass. Great features. I knew you guys were gonna like this shit. What's up, Kobe? How you doing, bro? I knew you guys were gonna like this shit. Hello. Hi. Hi. You two ready to see what we've gotten you into? So ready. Sure. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? I like that we both did green on bottom, blue on top. Twinsies. What are you two doing? Like, would you guys ever we decide to get naked going to of, like, a date paint and naked portraits of each other? Expectations are high. Crazy. They should be. Some excellent skill work that you'll bro, see. I, I can never be comfortable doing this, bro. Oh, nah. That confidence just hit as soon as the road came I am came comfortable up. being naked. Way to know you're good looking. That's important. Thank you. You're quite beautiful oh as well. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Oh, what do you notice who stands out about my body? You like Batman. This is true. You haven't even seen my back yet. Oh snap. <laughs> There's more Batmans? Oh. It's like a no, comic this is book crazy. scene. I appreciate the dedication. I did not expect all the arms of tattoos under the bright blue jacket. What are you looking for in a relationship these days? Sugar daddies. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, (laughs) Someone who can keep up with my wit and sarcasm. I will make a lot of jokes. I'm very high energy. I like somebody who can (laughs) not take life so seriously. Anton, have you ever been in love? He's mad confident. Uh, Yeah, like twice. What happened? For sure. When I was 22, I was in love with this girl, but uh, she had a heroin addiction. Okay, that was the first one. What about the second one? We had met like she a like year before confident. and she was like, dating no one of my friends. Like you and then we did long distance and like for no two and a half, three years. And then she moved with me pause, and then we pause, got pause, married. Pause, pause, pause. And now we're not married. How many years ago was that? Coming up on a year right now. I'm still getting over a breakup from like 1997, but yeah, no, totally. Everybody goes like their own pace. Seven? It's okay, no judgment. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. <gasps> How you, are, you, you have children, bro? You have children and you doing this. This is why, bro, our, bro, our generation is effed, bro. Like our generation is so messed up. It, this is effed, like there's no way, bro. Our generation is, bro. How do you have a child and you're doing this shit? But it's just absolutely. How many children? I only have one daughter. So you've been in love three times. Uh, it's a different kind of love. Well, yeah, she will forever be the most important woman in your life. And if you say she's not, then this is over right now. Oh no, she will be. Just checking. She's amazing. I lost my father when I was in my early twenties, and I had a very good relationship with him. And so it's something that I definitely rank. Um, relationships with men on if they do have children is <laughs> no. how Girl, they are with their daughter. Have you ever dated anybody with children? I'll More times it, than bro. I can remember. I'll wow. I love kids. The biggest yeah, issue is always like time constraints because obviously I, I don't want to interfere with the time that they spend with their child. What are you looking for what in a relationship? Bro, someone who will make bro. me laugh, someone who has their Meeting shit together. That seems to be a rarity. Is that really? Bro, like, just, everybody like, has emotional like, baggage. Know, the trick is knowing how to carry your own emotional yeah, baggage. You're on that therapy is well chat, so Yes, you try you getting a grown man, man to go to therapy on his own. What are you looking for in a relationship? Somebody who loves food. Somebody who likes to enjoy the simple things in life, like going out on a walk on a nice day. How am I coming across with that listing so far? You're leaning towards that way with how you've described yourself, but I would have to get to know you more. You can't trust how people describe themselves. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. That's funny. How's your painting coming along? I think I'm done. Wow. You You can put your arms down now. Um, thank you for holding them like that. It really helped me capture how do you, the pose. Like, how do you maintain eye contact? Like, after this. Like, how do you maintain eye contact? I feel like, bro, like, there's just no way. Pause, though, pause. There's just no way I wouldn't be able to, you know. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I just wouldn't, like, I don't know. See, just... like, this arm right here? I couldn't have done that without you holding that What's pose. This video I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I really love the bat symbol, of course. Oh, Are you going to feature it prominently in your house? Hell yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna switch it up, it up now. You think of your pose? I did think of a pose. I mean, it highlights my best asset. I'm hard. I'm hard. What I'm hard. do you consider your best asset? 
it's, it's a toss up between my Disney princess eyes and my uh, fat ass. Okay, two uh, great features. What did you notice about my body first? Your tattoos. My skank flank? Skank flank? Gosh, yeah, it's like a lie. tramp stamp on your side. She, she really I've never that. heard that in my life, okay. Those are difficult spots to get tattoos. I've never heard that in my life, okay. Those are difficult spots to get okay, tattoos. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Apparently she got it. the ribs are painful. Okay, she yeah, that was like my second tattoo and people were like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what's worse than your ribs? Your finger. Don't ever do it. Okay, I try to go every it. couple of weeks to she get a tattoo. It. It. That's an she expensive uh, In the last year, I have been going every week because okay, I it. have she income that only me and my daughter get to choose what happens with that. So. I'm not, I'm cool. Blurry. So I was looking for sugar daddies, working on it. Oh, wait, move my, oh, Fitting move my, the. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move my Twitch camera because it's like it's like kind of blocking it. Give me a second. There we go. Ill. <laughs> When's the last time you cried? Saturday. What happened on Saturday? My dad. Cold, he had a heart transplant. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes you sense. I had to have heart surgery. Cut. Really? There was just like a little hole. Blood, so now we've screen we've screen fixed the well. physical hole in no, my heart, but the no emotional one screen. remains. Fair enough. You just need to find the right person. <laughs> Who said people are gonna fix it? That's a she's self yeah, filling very, very hole. Pale. They can be filled Nothing both ways. Like that, that sounded dirty. It was meant to be. Anton, what would you describe your type? A individual who is bright with spirit. I do enjoy someone who's loud and fun and not so like uptight about life. Also, if we were gonna talk about looks, I like brunettes. I mean, obviously you were just describing characteristics about me anyway. But I also like, just think everybody is beautiful in their own way. That's very politically Like all babies are beautiful. Not everybody is beautiful, but everybody has something beautiful about them. Except for the really shitty people. Yes. Cool, so you're good with Kraft mac and cheese and chicken nuggies? If they're vegan chicken nuggets. Do you not eat meat? Uh, I used to be vegan and uh, vegetarian for like 10 years, but now I eat meat, it's been like two years. You do? But yeah. you said vegan chicken nuggets? I used to be, I know, but, but I do to... favor. Did you eat honey when you were a vegan? Uh, no. Some people who are vegan eat honey and then I like to burst their bubble and tell them that honey is not vegan, even though taking honey from bees helps bees live. So you're a ball crusher, gotcha. I prefer Buster than Crush. This is such a dry ass conversation, but I feel like we're just all watching for one reason and one reason only. So now I suggest a game. What game do you suggest? Sure, but I think that's because I like the alliteration. <laughs> like, do, How's do the painting people, coming along? People genuinely I would say I'm done. Like you ready to show it? Uh, like, sure. Like... So beautiful. I don't know why your face got discolored, but you know, I'm not very great at blending. And you know, this heart is for your energy. You seem very heartfelt and you have emotional intelligence and maturity and you seem like a great person, to be honest. Glad you got that. Not as judging as most people because they're in a vulnerable state. Would you, uh, would you go on another date together? That's TBD, really. I feel like we'd need to we need oh, to have some no. chats and get to know each other. With she definitely has. He definitely has a shrimp. He definitely has a shrimp. She saw that and she was like, "Yep, TBD is crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie." Like, out uh, other people staring at us naked. I like that answer, and nah, she would agree. Has a shrimp. I do like her personality, though. So that's good. There's a lot of it. She's funny. But to be fair, though, shout out to all my my, my 